Kart Radio. Well, while the BRICS alliance is strengthening in its banking system, the U.S. seems to be on a downhill. In the last three years alone, 15 U.S. banks collapsed, renewing fears of financial instability across the homeland. Banks such as Republic First Bank, Citizens Bank, remember them? First Republic Bank, Signature Bank, and so many others have collapsed within the last three years alone. The FDIC published the latest report that the U.S. banking system is looking at an unrealized loss of $517 billion. The FDIC also stated that U.S. 63 lenders are currently on the brink of insolvency. The banks are now saddled with more than half a trillion dollars on the balance sheets in their papers. The development shows that the U.S. banks are at risk while the central banks of BRICS are massively accumulating gold. While the unrealized losses are only on the balance sheets, they could become a liability when the banks require liquidity. The number of lenders on its problems bank list rose significantly last quarter, reported the FDIC. And this puts the U.S. banking system under pressure as BRICS is dumping U.S. treasuries and the dollar. In the last seven months alone, BRICS members, China, has sold $72 billion worth of its U.S. treasuries. The BRICS alliance is also spearheading the de-dollarization movement by convincing developing countries to end alliance on the dollar. You'd have to look a little further to know how many sectors in the United States will be affected if BRICS ditches the dollar for trade, but I venture to say it's several. Quote, the number of banks on the problem bank list, those with the camels, and for those who do not know, because I want everybody to get this, camels is the acronym that use, that's used, and it stands for Capital Adequacy, Asset Quality Management, Earnings, Liquidity, and Sensitivity. It goes on to say that the number of banks on the problem list, those with a camels composite rating of four or five, increased from 52 in the fourth quarter of 2023 to 63 in the first quarter of 2024. The number of problem banks represented 1.4% of the total banks, which was within the normal range for non-crisis periods of 1% to 2% of all banks. The total asset that's held by problem banks increased $15.8 billion dollars to $82.1 billion during the quarter, read the FDIC report. It goes on to add, these issues could cause credit quality earnings and liquidity challenges for the industry. In addition, deterioration in certain loan portfolios, particularly office properties and credit card loans, continues to warrant monitoring. These issues, together with funding and margin pressures, will remain matters of ongoing supervisory attention by the FDIC. They summed it up. As the BRICS alliance solidifies its financial fortifications, the U.S. bank system is teetering on the edge of an unprecedented collapse. In a grim revelation, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation reports that U.S. banks are grappling with a staggering $517 billion in unrealized losses with the 63 lenders we just read about on the brink of insolvency and recent collapse of major banks like Silicon Valley, Signature Bank, the specter of financial ruin looms large. This dire situation is exacerbated by BRICS nations dumping U.S. treasuries and accelerating the de-dollarization agenda. Folks, the harsh reality is clear. Our financial system is failing. The dollar is faltering and your money is at risk. And it's time for Americans to face the consequences. The aforementioned is from Eric Blair. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart News Brief. Thank you, William.